Hi. This is a video about opening up a Steam Deck to replace one or more of the components inside it. Specifically, we're going to cover the thumbsticks and the SSD. In one way, this is a how-to video, but in another way, it's a why you really shouldn't do this video. That's because, even though it's your PC, or it will be once you've received your Steam Deck, and you have every right to open it up and do what you want, we at Valve really don't recommend that you ever open it up. The Steam Deck is a very tightly designed system, and the parts are chosen carefully for this product with its specific construction, so they aren't really designed to be user swappable. Opening up and replacing parts might mess things up, like profoundly. For example, if you damage the battery, the whole thing could catch fire later, which would be bad. So be forewarned and leave this kind of thing to professionals, unless you really feel like taking big risks with your property and with your life, which could end if you do this wrong. Just saying. Also, the warranty doesn't cover any damage that you do. However, having said all that, we also wanted to make this video to simply show you what's inside the Steam Deck. Taking things apart and putting them back together is cool, especially powerful handheld gaming computers. Please note, the screws that secure the housing are what's called self-tapping screws, and they're embedded in plastic bosses. They can be removed and reinstalled, but it's much easier to strip or over-torque screws of this type compared to standard ones. So be aware that they're very sensitive, and either the screws or the housing can be damaged. A torque wrench does help prevent damage. Opening the case immediately weakens it and makes the product less drop resistant. There's no way to avoid this. So just know that the structural integrity of your deck will be lessened somewhat by doing any of this. Static electricity can easily break your Steam Deck permanently. Basically, if a spark jumps from you to one of the integrated circuits on the board, it'll probably fry some of the parts forever. If you're unfamiliar with preventing electrostatic discharge, you should probably stop doing this and turn it over to a pro. First, remove these four screws. Then these four. Note that they're different sizes, so start keeping your screws organized to help you when it comes time to reassemble everything. After the screws are out, you just need to pry the case open. Try not to break a fingernail, that hurts. Note that this video shows pre-production hardware, and there will be some differences between what you see here and the Steam Deck that you own. This is the battery. Before proceeding, it's important to disconnect it. Do that by unplugging these wires here. The first component we're going to replace is the thumbstick. This part is easy to remove. Be aware that the whole assembly is custom. The stick, the board, and the cap. Replacing these will require matching the custom parts exactly. Stay tuned in the coming months for a source for replacement parts, thumbsticks, SSDs, and possibly more. Lift this latch. Unplug the flex cable here. Remove these three screws. And then take the stick assembly out. That's it. Now just reverse all that to put another one back in. Let's move on to the SSD. We don't recommend replacing the included drive. What we do recommend for increasing your storage capacity is the handy microSD card slot. So much easier and plenty fast. Please note, before attempting an SSD replacement, an off-the-shelf SSD could cause problems. One, power consumption. An off-the-shelf SSD can draw more power than the original drive, which could cause overheating and reduce battery life. Two, electromagnetic interference. Our SSD is located very close to our wireless module and was specifically chosen and tested to not interfere with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. An off-the-shelf SSD might have a different emissions pattern and could compromise wireless performance. Three, mechanical. We place components on the motherboard underneath the SSD, and a different one might mechanically interfere with these components, especially during vibration. Four, assembly. At least one screw which holds down the thermal module onto the APU is also used to hold down the shield can. Removing this screw can impact the thermal performance of the thermal module. Here we go. First, we're working on removing this outer shield. As you've just seen, these two screws come first. Two more screws under here. Okay, now you can actually remove the shield, but be super careful to not disturb the whole thermal setup. Very important to make doubly sure that the battery is disconnected before proceeding. Now, disconnect the drive. Note that all Steam Deck models use the M.2 connector for internal storage, including the 64 gigabyte model. To actually remove the SSD, remove one more screw here. That's it. 
We haven't filmed the entire reassembly process, but as we mentioned with the thumbstick, it's basically doing this whole thing again, but backwards. Remember, if you have followed these directions correctly, you've done absolutely none of the preceding steps. But you're more informed now about what's inside your Steam Deck. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, let us know what you think.